Live from New York, it's Poets and Quads with MBA to Z. Everything you need to know about the MBA admissions process with Stratus Prep. Hi, I'm John Byrne with Poets and Quants. We're back in New York for another in our series, MBA to Z with Stratus Prep, the leading test prep and MBA admissions consulting firm. And I have Harold again in the studio, Harold Szymanski from Stratus Prep. Welcome. Thank you very much, John. I'm very happy to be here. So today we're going to talk about getting that great recommendation letter. Harold, what are the basic building blocks to getting a letter that's going to help you get into a great school? Sure, I think of three of them. The first is, are they authentic? Are they specific? And candidly, are they good? And by authentic, I mean, does this person really know you? Have you worked directly with them? Have they managed you? Now, a lot of people think they should have an alum or some highfalutin executive that everyone knows write the recommendation. You would say, better to get someone who really knows who you are and what you've contributed. You know, that's exactly right. You know, frequently people, when they think about recommenders, they think title. Oh, I can get a recommender who's the CEO of the company, who's a vice president. And the reality is those recommendations really don't add a lot to your story. And what we try to do, sit down with our clients, is say, what story are you trying to tell? as well as what points do you really want the recommender to hit. And that really leads to the next point of what makes a good recommendation specific. Does the recommender talk about actual projects you've been on, what your role has been, maybe how you've managed other people, what leadership you've shown there? For admissions officers, the most important thing is that they get the sense of not only who you are as a person, but how, what your work style is. How do you work with other people? And finally, is it good? You'd be surprised, admissions representatives will frequently tell us about recommendations that are bad, <laughs> you know, that, yes. that good candidates, bad recommendations. How do you know you're gonna get a good recommendation from someone? You know, that can be tough at times. You know, hopefully they really understand why you're going to business school, you know, what you wanna accomplish there, and, and they're invested in helping you with that process. It's often said that the key to a great recommendation letter is not asking for a recommendation. In other words, it's building the relationship before you ask. You know, I think there's an argument to be made that the best recommendations come from those people who've acted as mentors to you. People who've known you for a while, who've really seen you perform as well as you possibly can. How many recommendation letters should you get? You know, for most schools, the number is two. You know, some schools actually the number goes to three. Generally speaking, there aren't a lot of opportunities to get more than that. But should you get more, see them, and then have them submit it. You should be so lucky. You know, which brings us to the point of, you know, what does a good recommender look like? On one end, you're going to have the people who'll say, just write it for me. On the other end, you're going to have the people who say, okay, and you never hear from them again. So the reality is you want to probably be somewhere in the, in, in the middle where the recommender understands your strategy, understands the points that you're really looking to be made, and then is willing to go through the process with you. Because again, the admissions committee wants to see you are as a whole person. They'll certainly get one perspective from what you've written, but they need that other perspective who's somebody else, sort of outside of your story, who can say, listen, this person is the greatest in the world. And at the end of the day, that's what you're looking for in a recommender. A recommender who tells you, you know, this person is just excellent, and he'll be great at business school. He'll be a wonderful addition to your community. Harold, thank you. That's great advice. And if you would like help crafting a recommendation strategy or simply applying to a highly selective MBA program, Check out Stratus Prep at stratusprep.com. Meantime, join us for another in our series, MBA to Z, everything you need to know about MBA admissions. We'll have more coming soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>